So guys, uh, welcome to one more wonderful session in uh, Java JDBC. In today's session, we'll see working with prepared statement in uh, JDBC. First of all, I'll explain you what do you mean by prepared statement, when we have to work with prepared statement, and then I'll explain you practically one programming example also. So let's try to understand what do you mean by prepared statement. See, before we start working with prepared statement, let's try to understand how the SQL statements are executed by the statement object in Java JDBC. So to explain this, uh, I'll open uh, Microsoft Whiteboard, and then I'll show you how exactly the SQL statements are uh, executed by your JDBC application. So first, once you understand the theoretical concept, then it will be easy for you to work with uh, the programming part. So here, this is your uh, Java application. Okay. And this is your database. So in our case, we are working with Oracle database. Okay. So to establish connection towards this uh, database, we'll use uh, connection interface. Once if the connection got established between your front end and back end, then you create one statement object. And using this statement object, you'll pass SQL statements. The SQL statements may be DML statements or DDL statement. So imagine you are executing one uh, insert statement using this uh, statement object. So when you write like uh, insert into, and uh, you write the complete query, and when you say execute update, when you use the method execute update, then actually this uh, insert query is sent to the Oracle database. So here what happens, you know, the, the SQL query is split into small parts means uh, the whole SQL query is, uh, is divided into small tokens and each token is uh, verified against the database syntax. And once the syntax of each and every token is verified, then these tokens are reassembled to form an SQL statement and then the SQL statement will be executed towards the database. So this process, we call it as a parsing. Parsing is nothing but like uh, uh, making the SQL statement into smaller parts and uh, checking each and every uh, part, or we can say the token of the SQL statement against the SQL database and reassembling them into one SQL statement and then executing. This process, we call it as a parsing. So if you want to insert like five records, then what you will do is you'll use insert statement. Is it clear? Five times because for every insert statement, you will have a different uh, value. It means you'll be inserting different records. So either you'll create five insert statements or you'll, you'll call the insert statement every time by passing new values to it. So imagine if you are if you are storing 100 records, then the insert statement will be executed totally 100 times. And every time the parsing will be done actually. That's nothing but uh, dividing the SQL statements into tokens and verifying the each token according to the SQL syntax and uh, reassembling tokens into an uh, SQL statement and then executing this. This is known as actually parsing. and uh, while working with the uh, statement interface, the parsing is done uh, for every execution. 
So now you try to understand what I'm trying to convey. SQL statements are broken into smaller parts called tokens. Each token is checked internally for the correct SQL syntax. And this process is known as parsing. So for statement object, parsing is done every time for each row. So it takes more time for execution. So in order to improve the performance of your application, you have to use a prepared statement instead of statement if you want to execute an SQL statement multiple number of times. In prepared statement, parsing is done only once. And uh, the next time onwards, you have to simply pass the value. You need not to execute the whole statement every time whenever you are executing the query. So the prepared statement is an interface and it is an sub-interface of a statement interface. A prepared statement is a pre-compiled SQL statement, means the prepared statement object will give you a pre-compiled SQL statement. Instead of hard coding queries, prepared statement object provides a feature to execute parameterized query. Means you can prepare a query and later you can pass values for that as a parameter value. So here is the example to understand about prepared statement practically. So this is the Java JDBC class prepared statement demo. And here, as I said, if you're working with like Java JDBC 4.0, then you need not to uh, register the driver class. You need not to load the driver class name by using class.furname. You can directly create the connection. So instead of writing that uh, connection statement, what I'll do is I'll just use the, the previous program written statement because we are connecting with Oracle database only. So this is the statement which is going to establish a connection towards your Oracle database. And once this is done, now what I'll do is I'll show you how you can create the prepared statement. So here the interface name is prepared statement and some reference name you can give ps equals to con dot prepare statement. You have to use the statement like prepare statement and here you have to write the SQL query. So I'll say select first underscore name comma salary from employees where salary greater than or equal to I'll say something like 15,000. So here, what you are doing is you are passing the value 15,000 directly, but uh, you should not pass the value. Why? Because it will contain question marks wherever you want to provide the values here. So this is the first question mark I have given. Like this, wherever you want to provide values at runtime, there you can give question marks. So here where salary greater than and I given one question mark. Now here I'll say ps dot set means whenever I want to execute this query, then I'll say ps dot set int. It will take two parameters. First parameter is the position of the, the, the question mark. I'll say one and second one is the value. So I'll say value is 15,000. Now you can say result set rs equals to ps dot execute query and once if the query gets executed successfully you will get the result the result will be in result set object and now you can say while rs dot next you can simply print uh, rs dot get string because the first column is a uh, name so it's a string type space then you can say rs dot uh, get int and then you can say this is two okay and after that it's better to close all the objects what we have uh, opened so rs dot close result set i'm closing ps dot close prepared statement i'm closing con dot close connection i'm closing so run this query like run this program and see how you get the output 
See, above 15,000, there are three records, Steven, Nina, and Lex. We got that information. So here, what you need to understand is whenever you create this prepared statement, then this particular, uh, this query will be checked against the SQL syntax. And next time onwards, whenever you want to execute this query, then you need to replace the value there. That's it here. I'll say 10,000 and I'll run this program. So performance wise, this is better. Whenever you want to execute uh, a statement multiple number of times by passing uh, different values. And this is what we call actually working with a prepared statement interface. And guys, if you like this uh, particular concept in Java JDBC related to prepared statements, then let me know in the comments below this video that what is your takeaway on this particular concept.